I never imagined that I would be on television. My goal was the Broadway stage and nothing else. And um, I got a chance to go to New York, um, which was rather out of the blue. <clears throat> I had um, gotten into this musical comedy class at UCLA, and we would get graded on our scenes uh, at the end of the semester. And uh, so the professor uh, invited the nine of us, there were nine of us in the class, down to a party in um, San Diego. And he said, you'll be the entertainment. It was kind of a black tie thing with a, uh, and a, a dinner dance. And he said, you guys can be the entertainment. Come, come to the party, and I'll grade you there. So we all drove down, got down there. And I did a scene uh, from Annie Gitch Gun. And um, so afterwards, I was at the hors d'oeuvre table, and I'm putting hors d'oeuvres in my purse to take home to my grandmother and my mother. <laughs> and somebody taps me on the shoulder, and I thought, I'm busted, you know. And uh, it was a, a gentleman and his wife, and they said they really liked the scene a whole lot. And I said, thank you very much. And he said, so what do you want to do with your life? And I said, well, someday I want to, want to go to New York and be on the stage in musical comedy. He says, well, why aren't you there now? <laughs> and I said, well, I don't, I can't. I, you know, I, was, I was working part time uh, at the Iris Theater on Hollywood Boulevard in the box office making a hot 75 cents an hour on weekends, you know. I said, it's going to take me a while to save up. He said, I'll give you the money to go to New York. And I thought, whoa. So, and his wife says, no, he means it. And he said, you be in my office a week from Monday morning at 9 o'clock, and I'll write out a check for you so that you can go to New York. So I went home and, and uh, borrowed a car to uh, get back down there the following week. And he uh, said, this is for you to do what you say you want to do. It's a loan. I want you to pay me back, no interest, in five years if you are successful. Um, he said, and there are other stipulations, you never tell my name. And if you are successful, you must promise to help other people out. Uh, I said, okay, and he gave me a check for $1,000. Uh, now, you know, as I said, we were on relief, and, you know, and I was making 75 cents. I'd never seen that many zeros in my life. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I got home and cashed it, and I showed my grandmother all this cash, and she said, you can't go to do you know what we could do with all that money? And you know, I said, I have to because that's what he gave it to me for, you know. So I, I left and went to New York. Uh, quit school in my sophomore year, and I'd never been any further east than Texas. I saw the couple again. Actually, five years to the day, I paid him back with a certified check. I also wrote them when I was on the Ed Sul got booked on the Ed Sullivan show. Never heard from them. And then years later, when I was doing my own show, the, the wife called me in the office, and she said, you know, we'd love to see you. If you ever get down this way? And I said, I will make it a point. So my husband and I drove down to San Diego and had lunch with them uh, at their club. He was always very kind of quiet, the gentleman that gave me the money. And we had a lovely lunch. And as we were walking back to our cars, uh, his wife, the missus, said to me, you know, we, he never wanted to take credit for anything. She said, there were many times when we would be in a place or you'd be on television and people would be commenting or laughing or something and he would just sit there and kind of, we'd look at each other and smile. And uh, he's, he passed away. <clears throat> but I am uh, still in touch with his wife. Well, I have, uh, I, when he said, you know, you must help others out, the third stipulation, I started scholarships at um, UCLA 
uh, in musical comedy, um, another scholarship in acting at Emerson College back east, and then I have a journalism scholarship uh, at the University of Hawaii. And then personally, some other things. You know, when I see somebody maybe needs a break or a chance or whatever, if it isn't necessarily uh, money, it can be a good word for them or write the recommendation for them to get into a particular school or whatever, you know, so I try to do that too. I did an anonymous thing once. It was um, a school. There was a private school that I had been looking into for one of my daughters. This was years ago, and it was terrific, And but she didn't want to go to that one, but I thought, this is really a lovely school, so I, we called up. My husband and I called up uh, uh, some people that uh, run camps in New York for underprivileged children. And we said, "Who's send us some information about some of these kids, you know, that what are their grades, what kind of a kid is it, and <clears throat> what's the situation at home? And we picked this young man who got C's and B's, but only because he couldn't, uh, he, he had to work, and, he was, and so he couldn't really concentrate that hard on his, um, on his studies. Uh, his mother had a bunch of kids, it was, I mean, and they were very, very poor, and we sponsored his, uh, his high school education, and he went to that school and started to get A's.